Well, boys and girls, I picked out a great book, I think, for our read aloud this time. The name of the book is Alphabet Rescue, and I think you're going to like the story. Just a little preview. Clang, clang! Here comes your favorite alphabet and an exciting fire truck adventure, too. All the little letters from Charlie's alphabet are disappointed when the capital letters won't let them have fun with the grown-up fire truck. What can they do? Join the action as these smart little letters build a fire truck of their very own and come to the rescue just in time. Children, parents, and teachers will have a great time finding and identifying the little letters on every page. Phonics games and an engaging story makes this the best way ever to learn your ABCs. And here's some of the characters that we are going to see in our story today. Once again, the title is Alphabet Rescue, written by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Bruce Wood. The little letters in Charlie's alphabet had worked hard all year long in school helping him to learn to read and write. As Charlie packed to visit his grandparents, his alphabet took off on a pencil. They were ready for a vacation, too. The little letters soared past the moon to Alphabet City, the place where they were made. The next morning, Charlie's alphabet came across some capital letters with a new fire engine. They were practicing with their big fire hoses. Let us try, please, the little letters begged. Well, okay, Fire Chief F said, just for a minute. But when the little letters tried, the hose whipped around like a wild snake, spraying all of the capital letters. Fire hoses are for big letters only, Fire Chief F explained. Go and play where you won't get into trouble. Well, behind the fireplace, they discovered an old broken down fire engine. Little E and little X had an excellent idea. Let's rescue it, they exclaimed. All the little letters searched until they found what was needed to fix up the old fire truck. When they were finished, it looked fantastic. Clang, clang! Little B rang the fire engine bell as they drove away. Soon they came to some letters trying to wash a very dirty car. To the rescue, little R shouted as they turned on their fire hoses. Before long, they were aiming them perfectly, and the car was sparkling clean. Further down the road, they heard sad cries for help. Three little letters had climbed too high in a tree, and they were afraid to come down. I wonder if you can see the letters way high in the tree there. I wonder if you can spell that word. Our fire engine has ladders and necks, little N shouted. We'll rescue you. As the sun set beyond the city, Charlie's little letters noticed an angry cloud of smoke in the sky. Look, little F exclaimed. The letter-making factory is on fire! If the factory burns, Little X said, that would be extra bad. Children won't have alphabets to learn at school. That would be bad, wouldn't it? woo A loud siren sounded. The capital letters were speeding down the road on their big fire engine toward the factory. But as they passed by, a tire blew out. The big truck spun out of control and rolled over. None of the capitals were hurt, but they were scattered everywhere. 
When the little letters saw that the big fire engine was broken, they came to the rescue again. Climb aboard, Capitals, Little C called. Our fire engine can fight the fire. All of the letters hung on tightly as the little engine sped to the fire. At the factory, the letters aimed their hoses and sprayed water into the boiling smoke and fire. Inside the factory, they used their ladders and nets to rescue a new batch of little E's trapped on a burning balcony. At last, the fire was out. Clang, clang! Fire Chief F rang the fire engine bell. Then he announced, Charlie's little letters and their fantastic fire engine are welcome at our firehouse any time. The next day, as they rode in a parade through the streets of Alphabet City, the Alphabet heroes were cheered by everyone. At the end of the parade, some of the new letters that had been saved from ruin spelled out a message to Charlie's alphabet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The little letters returned home just in time. Charlie's vacation had ended too. He needed his little letters to help him write an important card to his grandparents. So they did. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope you like to uh, read it again and maybe look for all the letters on the pages. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you enjoy rereading it and listening to it again and looking through the pictures. As I always say, I'll see you in kindergarten. Bye, boys and girls.